Sahih al-Bihari 251 narrated Abu Salama, Aisha's brother and I went to Aisha and he asked her about the bath of the Prophet. She brought a pot containing a basa of water and took a bath and poured it over her head and at that time there was a screen between her and us. Sahih al-Bihari 252 narrated Abu Yafar, while I and my father were with Jabir bin Abdullah, some people asked him about taking a bath. He replied, Asa of water is sufficient for you. A man said, Asa is not sufficient for me. Jabir said, Asa was sufficient for one who had more hair than you and was better than you, meaning the Prophet. And then Jabir put on his garment and led the prayer. Sahih al-Bihari 253 narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet, and Maimina used to take a bath from a single pot. Sahih al-Bihari 254 narrated Jabir bin Mu'im, Allah's messenger, said, As for me, I pour water three times on my head. And he pointed with both his hands. Sahih al-Bihari 255 narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, the Prophet, used to pour water three times on his head. Sahih al-Bihari 256 narrated Abu Yafar, Jabir bin Abdullah said to me, your cousin, Hazan bin Muhammad bin al hanafiyya came to me and asked about the bath of Yanaba. I replied, the Prophet uses to take three handfuls of water, pour them on his head and then pour more water over his body. al Hazan said to me, I am a hairy man. I replied, the Prophet had more hair than you. Sahih al-Bihari 257 narrated Maimina, I placed water for the bath of the Prophet. He washed his hands twice or thrice and then poured water on his left hand and washed his private parts. He rubbed his hands over the earth and cleaned them, rinsed his mouth, washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out, washed his face in both forearms and then poured water over his body. Then he withdrew from that place and washed his feet. Sahih al-Bihari 258 narrated Aisha, whenever the Prophet took the bath of Yanaba, sexual relation or wet dream, he asked for the high lab or some other scent. He used to take it in his hand, rub it first over the right side of his head and then over the left and then rub the middle of his head with both hands. Sahih al-Bihari 259 narrated Maimina, I placed water for the bath of the Prophet and he poured water with his right hand on his left and washed them. Then he washed his private parts and rubbed his hands on the ground, washed them with water, rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out, washed his face and poured water on his head. He withdrew from that place and washed his feet. A piece of cloth, towel, was given to him but he did not use it. Sahih al-Bihari 260 narrated Maimina, the Prophet, took the bath of Yanaba. Sexual relation or wet dream. He first cleaned his private parts with his hand, and then rubbed it, that hand, on the wall, earth, and washed it. Then he performed ablution like that for the prayer, and after the bath he washed his feet.